Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob, and we're back starting from the ending of yesterday's video on our seahorse spirit. And uh, right now what we're doing is we're cutting in the fins on the side of his head. His little finny fin fins, cutting them in. I guess uh, we're getting them all shaped up. Get it all uh, undercut around the fins. Got to put his little fin things on his fins. His little bumps, you know, little lines. His little fins poke out. Uh, we were using the carbide flame burr in the micro carver. And now we have gone back to the Dribble 4000 with a flex shaft and the straight saber tooth burr. This is... The saber tooth coarse burr. It's very pointy. And we're just uh, bringing down the head so the fins pop out a little bit more. We're getting that head shape down and around. So what do you think there, uh, Ben, over at Studio on the Lake? Is the horse something you want to do too? The seahorse wood spirit, is it something you want to do, huh, Ben? Ha, ha, ha. Come on, Ben. I know you can do it. You like making these whimsical characters. i seen your little fairies that you found dead in the snow. So we're doing a little seahorsey thing here. Half seahorse, half wood spirit. Getting it all carved in. Having a good old time. What would you do if you were scuba diving and this guy showed up in front of your mask? I know what I'd do. I'd be blowing a lot of bubbles. Okay, we're changing over to a ruby burr. Bionic speed, guys. Bionic speed. See that? We're getting that all sanded down and shaped using our ruby burr. So, how's it going out there in YouTube world? I'll tell you what. It's cold in Michigan. Cold, cold, cold. Very cold. We've been having some crap weather lately. Not fun. Plow trucks broke down. Got to fix that yet. Ordered some parts today. Bring that forehead back on this guy. Getting it all worked in there. Keep bringing the uh, outline of the beard down under the jaw. Around his jaw there. Still using that ruby burr. Getting it shaped in. See we're getting uh, some pretty good response. On our comment line for the uh, Wood Spirit Seahorse. Thanks guys. Thanks for the comments. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Let's say hi to, uh, let's see, we'll say hi to Anna and Elaine and Claire and uh, the Crossbone Cowboy. We'll say hi to Jordy at Carbon Fusion. Say hi to Cleve over at Cleve's back, Backyard Woodworking. And I'll say hi to Spike and uh, Evil Evil Rick and uh, a lot of guys, a lot of you guys. Got some new new subscribers. That's awesome. Appreciate, always appreciate new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing, guys. I appreciate it. Um, make sure you go over and check out uh, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook. A lot of good wood carvers in that group. Just uh, every time I go over there and I check in, I, I'm just amazed at some of the things that you guys are carving. It's, it's really awesome. 
And make sure you keep sharing. Sharing on that Facebook group. It's a good community over there. I haven't seen any negativity at all on that Facebook group. So if you want to go hang out and talk to other carvers, that's the place to do it. Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook. And uh, yeah, uh, go over and check out Ben Studio on the Lake. That's his YouTube channel. And uh, Calvin Carves. He's a young guy. I think he's uh, 12 years old. Lives up there in Canada. And uh, he's into carving. He's been on TV. Uh, on the news there. He's, uh, he's doing good things. Carving a lot with hand tools. So uh, if you get a chance, go over there and check out Calvin Carves. On YouTube. And uh, we're all trying to support each other in the carving community. Okay, so we got our a bigger diamond burr in now. Or not diamond, ruby burr, I'm sorry. And we are going to cut the... I have, for a better lack of uh, words, I guess uh, flutes. We're cutting flutes in. To the fins on the side of this guy's head. And we've got this. Uh, our microcarver set at about 20,000 RPMs. And we're just putting them little flutes into the fins. And then I have got a bunch of sanding to do. I'll be using my uh, power sander. Um, it's uh, one of the sonic sanders from Works W O R X. It's my favorite sander. Uh, you can just well, it's not just a sander. You can get blades for cutting for it. I use it a lot in the carving shop to uh, cut sticks down and things like that. It works really well. Um, the first sonic carver I ever bought was a Dremel sonic carver. And it actually shook itself apart. So, uh, Dribble, if you're listening, you need to do some work on that Sonic cutter. And it wasn't cheap either. I paid like a hundred bucks for that stupid thing. And, and within a very short amount of time, it just, I mean, it actually literally just shook itself apart. Um, so take that. That's my opinion of it. The one I have now, um, I've had it for a while, about six months, and I use it almost daily on different little carving projects. I even used it doing body work on vehicles to get in them real tight spots, and it works great for that. I also have a Black & Decker finger sander, which is a 5 8 wide belt sander. Love that thing. I sharpen... I put a... A really fine belt on there like a two, 220 belt and I sharpen all my all my uh, knives with it uh, like my filleting knives and stuff like that I sharpen them all with it and then uh, strop them because uh, after you strop a knife for a while which a strop is a piece of leather with a jeweler's compound and after after I I, I noticed that after I strop a blade for a while, it ends up uh, like the edge of the blade starts to get a concave to it. So, um, and yeah, I, I like to have the edge sharp and straight. So I'll take that with the highest grit belt I got. I think I've got one that's uh, 1500. And I'll run that blade across there and flatten those blades back out. And then it's good for, you can strop it a whole bunch after that. Before it starts getting that round over on the edge again. So there he is. We got his uh, fins carved into the side of his head. Now we're going to round the end of the nose over. Get up in there and cut some snot holes in for him. 
We got his mouth cut in, his mustache cut in. I got the beard pretty much feathered out the way I want it. I'm cutting up underneath the chin a little bit to get that done. Get up underneath there. Um, I put the Cuts All Extreme Flamer up underneath there. Just the point of it to get everything flattened out. So now I'm trying to get back up underneath there with the uh, dot, Ruby Burr to uh, sand it all out. And we're, we'll cut those flutes into his back fin too. We'll get them all cut in. And we'll, I'll show you a little bit of that. Okay, uh, so this uh, video is starting to wind down to the end. So this will be video number two for the Seahorse Wood Spirit. And I will uh, probably finish this guy tomorrow and he will be done, all right? So be awesome, carve something awesome. Check the links in the descriptions below. Make sure you subscribe and we will catch you guys on the next one. All right, all right, all right, Spike, all right. So uh, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.